What's going on, guys? Welcome back. Welcome back. This is actually this pack is actually stacked. Scorching Dragonfire, Harmonious Archon, Arcanist Owl, Epic Downfall, Shine Chaser, even Rose Thorn, Acolyte, and Trebuchet are great three drops. I'm gonna take this Harmonious Archon, <clears throat> and then we're gonna try to go wide as can be. You like Downfall over this Archon, this four five flyer that gives you two bodies. Gilded Goose. Well, that's interesting. What did they take? They didn't take an uncommon or the rare. They could have taken a foil. I feel like Gilded Goose is just insane. Like, making food every turn? I'm good with it. I'm game. <clears throat> See, traditionally, I would probably just take this Thunderous Snapper because that's just what I do. <clears throat> that's just what <clears throat> we do, other than clearing our throats. I don't love Garen Brig Carver. Flutter Fox is good, though. I do like Flutter Fox. I don't like a third pick Flutter Fox. This guy just is this guy playable in a non blue green deck? It's so good. Currently watching stream from the dentist office waiting room. My wife has so much dental anxiety that she has to take drugs beforehand, so I'm chauffeur today. Wi Fi here is slow. Come on, doc. I know you can afford it. Nice. <laughs> he really can. Ugh. <clears throat> uh, I'm just going to take the snapper. I think it's just a better upside. I'm going to take once in future. I think this card is actually great. Like, being able to get back your two biggest, your two best cards. Like, it's just crazy. Okay, Grumgully. Alright. Well. Ardenvale Tactician. Seems decent. Also, like, they don't lose flying. So... <clears throat> so if your creatures are like 1-1 one, one flyers, they get to keep flying. So keep flying, guys. Put the snapper on the sideboard for now. Another snapper? Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Two snappers. Two snappy boys. I can't resist. I can't resist the snapper sirens call, guys. I'm sorry. Now we're just taking every Rose Thorn Acolyte we see. We only have one adventure card right now. <clears throat> I don't think Steelgaze Griffin's very good. Lonesome Unicorn is okay. I think Innkeeper the upside is too high. <clears throat> Especially if we get a bunch of... Uh, uh, giant Opportunity, not bad with a Goose. Not bad with a Goose. 
can also just take the adventure card. I don't know what, what direction we're being pulled in here. <clears throat> These could just be mono green cards. Shine Chaser. We could just splash the white, actually. Huh. Shine Chaser seems good. Seems real good. I want to take the Shine Chaser. And we get another Queen of the Fae. Queen of the Ice, anyway. Queen of the Fae? What is Queen of the Fae? Una? Uh, Scarecrow's fine. Helps us get that white mana. So I think this is good. I think we're base blue-green. We're splashing white for Harmonious Archon, but we do have Gilded Goose and Scarecrow so far. And any Rose Thorn Acolytes make it very, very easy to do. Mm, Insatiable Appetite, not even terrible. And Harmonious Archon draws a card now? Come on. <clears throat> That's just too much. Double Gilded Goose deck. That's the thing, I guess. <sighs> totally reasonable. I'm going to take the other Gilded Goose. <clears throat> I like these guys a lot. I like this especially with Archon, but I think Gilded Goose when we're trying to splash a color is uh, pretty, pretty darn good. Pretty darn good. So, this pack's also nice. Uh, animating Fairy's nice, but we don't have a ton of artifacts. I guess we have food. Baked into a pie is great. I think we're just taking Charmed Sleep here. Is it better than this, though? Yeah, I like it, but it's better. It's definitely... Oh, another Charmed Sleep. Okay. Well, Charmed Sleep it is. Thunderous Snapper number three. Interesting, interesting. Okay. Well... <clears throat> Even if it's just four fours, these guys are just really good. I think the I think the spiders I, I think it's I think it's very good as well. Well this pack is interesting. Wolf's quarry not too bad because of uh, Harmonious Archon. Not sure it's great, but it's probably better than Covetous Urge. That pack wasn't that great. Wow, this is the third once in the future we've seen. I'm going to take this Return of Nature because I'm actually curious pair. We got Edgewell Innkeeper. <clears throat> yeah, I'll take Curious Pair. Curious Pair is main deckable. Yeah, Animating Fairy is good. Um, what did we take over it? Charm Sleep? I think that's still good. The old double gilded goose, triple thunder snapper deck, a classic. That's a this is a lot of once and futures, guys. There's a lot of once and futures. I'll take unexplained visions. Or do we just take flutter fox? Are we just straight up bant? <laughs> I really want like two rose thorn acolytes. Oh, giant opportunity. Okay. We do make a lot of food for that guy. Rally came back? Sure. I mean, we're never adamanting that, but <clears throat> I don't know what this deck's going on here. I don't know what this deck's going on here. <clears throat> Felda Pheasant, great. I'm 
I was walking along, minding my golden eggs. Let's say golden egg because we are splashing cards. I also think Shine Chaser with Harmonious Archon making it a 5-5 five, five Flying Vigilance is pretty good. Oh, somebody's, somebody's sneezing. That was not Felipe for once. Oh, uh, yes, I'm a Scavengers fan, especially in this deck with infinite... Uh... <clears throat> infinite artifacts. Yeah, bridge actually not terrible. Ardenvale tactician on the sideboard feels weird. Yes, you can sack egg as food. You can sack uh, ginger brood as food. <clears throat> I mean, it also even says it says artifact food right on there. Emery, oh, Keeper of Fables. Keeper of Fables is legit. I don't think Emery's worth anything, which is a thing we have to consider when we're playing. Yeah, a dollar. We're going to go Keeper of Fables. That's a pretty easy pick. Unfortunately, guys, we did not open any Okos. I just wanted to be clear about that. This is 23 cards. Return of the Wild Speaker. Draw three. Draw cards equal to the greatest power among non-humans you control, or non-human creatures you control get plus three, plus three. Yeah, we're definitely taking that. I would love to take Sir Eleanor, but this is an instant that either overruns your team or draws you cards. Yeah, hundred percent. Love Struck Beast. Oh man, this is looking great. I'm probably gonna take out the Unexplained Vision over the return. Yeah, that seems good. Wow, this is awesome. How many rares do we have? Thank you. Sick five right now? It's pretty good. <clears throat> the Shadows, what's going on, my dude? Welcome back, my friend. Long time no see. Minding my gooseies. And this is still 24 cards? Yikes. Shadows, I hope you're doing great, buddy. I really appreciate the support, even when you're not always available. Do we have enough to justify this? We have one, two... Three, four. I would say no. I would also say we can cut the tree. And it makes our. How much are the goose? Like a dollar, dollar fifty. Gills of goose is two tickets. Not a, not a tremendous amount. Oh, surf, surfadden. Why do I always say this? I always say this in an Irish voice. I don't know why. It's still fine. I opened an Oko yesterday and couldn't play it. Pack three, and I had white red knights. I mean, you still opened eighty tickets, so it's. If you played against this deck and saw all the rares it had, you would be. Um, my rares aren't super powerful though, right? Like this guy's great. But, like, Gilded Goose and Return and Lovestruck Beast, they're all kind of... They're decent. Oh, wow. Okay, Ranger is great. Oh, yes. Oh, there's an Out Muscle and a Trap in the Tower. We have Double Charm Sleep, I guess. This is fine. 
Wow, look at all these. Look at all these. I don't even think I care about Curious Pair, to be quite honest. I don't think I care about Crashing Drawbridge. Wow, this came... Is this the same one? I'm definitely taking this over turn, turn into a pumpkin. I think. Because this also draws us a card. How much, like... Is this too greedy? Maybe this is too greedy. I don't feel like it's too greedy. I take Wonder Mare, but like we just went over the fact that we don't have that many uh, adventures. So I think we just take Queen of Ice. You're a Queen of Ice! Marileaf Pixie? Oh, yes. I mean, I like Runaway together a lot, though. But I think I want the ramp. Like, two Gilded Goose and a Marileaf Pixie is like actual perfect. Okay, so it actually not only. Wow. Wow. This was not the one that tabled. How many drown on the locks can we get? Two, clearly. One up in timber. What up, Mayhem? Watch out for flying. I'm gonna take the spore cap spider out for now. I'll take one queen of ice out, I'll take crashing drawbridge out. This might be too ambitious. We didn't get any Rose Thorn Acolytes. I think Rose Thorn Acolytes. I think they just hate us. Excuse me. Ugh. All right, what do we got here? What have we here? I mean, we could easily take out the the OK Ranger, I think, just because it's really hard to cast. I mean, at least these guys are on color, essentially. Yeah, I don't love it. Maybe we do take out the Archon. I don't know, man. It's a 4-5 flyer. Like... Yeah, I can see Surfaran being meh in this deck. Alright, I can get behind that. Um, do we need anything? Yeah, I like 872. I do like, I like 872 this way because we do want to hit Gilded Goose or Love Struck Beast on turn one. This deck is interesting. My wife's dentist appointment is going to be done before all three rounds. Just tell her to stay longer. You ever wake up and you feel like you're waking from a coma? Yes. I did that twice today, actually. I just could not get good sleep, I felt like. It was pretty miserable. TK Apocalypse. Thanks so much, dude. I appreciate it. I'll keep this hand. Any blue source is just chef's kiss. Plus we got 5-5 five, five on turn 3. How can we draft an MTG runner? Uh, MTGO has 
Apparently there's a bot issue on Arena where everyone just takes Merfolk Secret Keepers, and that seems unfun. And I'd also rather have three rounds than seven. So. Okay, well. Two snappers. Come on, island. We did it. <clears throat> Alright, if we can have another land and go double thunderous snapper, that seems pretty good. Yeah, like when I'm recording videos and posting them on YouTube, like I'd much rather have like two rounds, three rounds, uh, three guaranteed rounds on Magic Online than something like uh, up to seven rounds, which takes like two and a half hours most times. Like you're just saving a bunch of time. Don't Sam TGO never gave you any any re anything. I mean maybe. Maybe you're right. Um We got plus two plus two and untap. <clears throat> Nah, I'm good. Oh. Fascinating. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. See, these guys have Vigilance, so if we Charm Sleep them and they do have the plus two, plus two untap, Charm Sleep is going to do nothing. So, I'll trade two for one here if you want. No, you're just going to take nine, huh? You know what? I'll block. If you want to spend three of your mana this turn to trade, yep, that is fine. Because you probably can't do much else. I guess you can play Silver Flint. Okay, sure. Oh, boy. Oh, we just win the game. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. Thank you. Darksteel Spork, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I will keep this hand. Yeah, unfortunately, we can never draw any of the, go the gooses. The gooses are most definitely not loose. So here's something we can... Um, no, we want to play this on turn four. Yeah, we can just cast Hearts Desire. Get some damage in there. <clears throat> oh, that's messed. That's, that's aggressive. So we just get to go 5-5 five, five into 4-4 four, four again? He can't attack yet, but I have faith. Yeah, Goose is only worth like two tickets, which is fine. It's just a rare. It's opened super heavily, so. No blocks. I don't know how many 1-1s one we have in the deck outside of that. Uh... That's actually really good if we can hit a land. Come on, land. Keeper Fables. Draws us a card from Turtle. Turtle attacks. Draws us a card from Keeper. Sure. Okay, so we did hit a land. We do need another island for these charmed sleeps. Mm -hmm. 
I mean, do they just double block? It seems bad, right? Is this a good trade? I don't know. I know your commute is real punish. It's rough, man. Sometimes I gotta wake up and... Gotta make it all the way to the... Wow, this would have been like draw five or <laughs> yikes. All right. Well, good game. A good game. Both sides played hard. One side played less hard, I guess. Or that. That works. Sure. I have no idea. I guess our decision to attack was too much for them. They just couldn't handle it. Goose. No goose? I'm still gonna keep this hand. This hand is still great. It's slow, but we're on the play, and we got four drop into five drop. That's going to draw us two cards when it comes into play. All we got to do is survive. Come on. That doesn't do anything. Oh, oh my god. Turn three, Love Struck Beast. Turn four, Snapper. Turn five, Sir Eleanor. Sure. I'm okay with all of it. The Urchai, what's going on? I was going to say, let's play your deck either tomorrow or, like, early next week, if that works for you. Watch out for flying glass. Do they just mill us? Oh, man. Joke's on them. I still got, the, I still got two of those in my hand. My audio isn't working specifically for this stream. It's fine elsewhere and fine if I put up my phone. Any ideas? That's weird. Whenever I hear stuff like that, I'm like, that's weird. <clears throat> I don't know why things do that. It's always weird when it's like, just your stream. It's a black screen. I can't see anything. I'm like, why would it do that? I've been hit, I've been hit, I was walking around, minding my beeswax. This guy. Wait, why do they have... Did they just cast one naturally and not mill us and then mill us with the other one? That's interesting. Wow, that's rude. Man, this turtle is oppressive. Oh my god. Oh my god. <sighs> Sunny D, it'll burn your throat. I mean, they can't kill our guy, so we might as well just attack with it first, right? Let's draw two. Oh my god, the second white, are you kidding me? <laughs> That's magic sometimes. Sometimes you just sometimes. This is I mean this this makes this a three three, but it makes this a three three two. 
And it draws us a card from this guy. How does this work? I guess layers like this is makes this bigger. All right, yep, you got that guy. Yikes. <laughs> Alright, so... How does this work? It's just a 3-3? Three, three? But then our powers equal to the number of cards in here? Like, I don't know how that works. I definitely don't think it still gets the boost. I think it becomes a 3-3, which is just worse to trade here. So I'd rather just attack as is, and then just play the Harmonious Archon after that. This all makes this a 3-3. We can also just draw six cards. No. Maybe. Whenever you cast... Oh, God. That's insane. The funny thing is we could have actually cast this. It would have replaced itself, so this would still be a 5-4. And then we draw five cards. So we've actually put them to five and had a friggin' insane grip. Let's just Archon here. We have to draw a card from the Archon. Sure. <clears throat> yep, 3-3. Three, three. That's what I figured. Because layers, my dude. It is Wednesday, my dude. You know. Because layers. Yeah, you can mill me for two before you concede, I imagine. Oh, look, a uh, keeper of the our deck is really sweet. I don't know if it's great. This is my this is my explanation for every deck in this format that I've played so far. Our deck is really sweet. I don't know if it's good, but it's sweet. Non human creatures? Oh man, we have three humans, that's awkward. I mean it still draws us. Four, I guess. I do have an emblem that says it is Wednesday. My, I want. Can someone make me a JPEG that's the size of a magic card that's an emblem, so I can actually put it on the screen, and I can be like, "It is Wednesday, my dudes." What are you gonna shoot that? Dang. That's rude. These are actually all humans, so that's pretty hilarious. Okay, you got it. So we have like four four out of five creatures are humans. Oh, guess they're not getting buffed. Well, here it's only, uh, it's only Thursday. I mean, we're definitely drawing, uh, trying to draw four cards here, so. Wow, they're gonna didn't say please us? Jesus. So we'll draw a card, I guess. Okay, well. That's pretty dece, I guess. Dece plus, maybe?
Thank you. Oh, we can't do that. Actually, I have to go one, two, three, four. Play Snapper Boy, which is only a three-three. Charm Sleep on. Doesn't matter. This idiot. And then we'll Alpha here. Fancy art. Thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. All right, we just win the game. Cool dudes. It was Wednesday, my dudes. I'm just going to submit like this. I'm gonna keep it. I think this hand is good despite not having a green source. We do have two geese though. One green source gets us real far. That's not it. That's not it. It is chicken Sunday, my dudes. Okay. Okay. Well. That's pretty good here. So I bet we're dead. Oh. Wait, what? Wait, why wouldn't you sorcery it and then just cast it? The fuck? You done messed up, A.A. Ron! All right, that's weird. I don't, I can't, I mm -hmm. can't say I understand that or any of these decisions, but here we are. Is it worth just getting another goose down? Like we're sacking a food No, because we want the cards in our hand for Sir Eleanor, I think. I want something else to get me through this. Okay, I guess it's our turn again. Draw two, my dudes. Hopefully we get a land here. Are we just are we just way ahead right now? Oh, all right. Well, I feel like the damage is done, but that's fine, I guess. Come on, land! Wow, I have to discard because I could not hit a fifth land out of fourteen cards. Oh wait, why don't I have to? Oh, because players have no maximum hand size. <laughs> well, that's gas. To get me through this. Okay, they didn't do the other thing. So, I guess we played that play, play, play land first. What the hell? What the hell, guys? I like playing my land before I attack. I got... Okay. Alright. I mean, I don't want them to cancel this. So, we're just going to play Shiny Boy... Are you just going to mill me? That's a lot. I mean, that's a good amount of milling for sure. A 
So yikes for me, dog. So if they play something, we can charm, sleep it, attack for six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, six mana. Yep. All right. They actually might just win, even though they play. They've played terribly this turn because Folio Fancies early in the game is pretty insane. Just return a creature. Okay, can't return an artifact. We do have once in future to get back. Two, three, four. Maybe we could get Return of the Wild Speaker. Pump all these dudes for like a million. <sighs> they were going to do this map keep, and then they're like, wait. Let them draw the card first. There you go. There you go. You did it. Six cards left. Seven, eight, nine. I think we're actually just losing to this. It's kind of hilarious. We're going to draw one next turn, go to five, so we have to actually have five cards in our hand. One, two, three, four, five. Can we play two things? We can play both of these and not die. I guess we'll attack first. That actually does help. That's actually really interesting. I'm just going to pass. And we're going to once in future to put one on top of our library. Because they don't have mana to counter anything if they also folio fancies us. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, I think we actually win right now. Cast. Choose target card in your graveyard, the first target. Turn a card from your graveyard to your hand. And I don't think it matters what we put on top. It might actually charm. How about just a land? None of these are humans, right? Oh, this is human, but it still doesn't matter because that's going to be way ahead. Uh, no, I need one, two, three, four, five. 
So this is three, six, and five. That is literally Xaxes. Wow, zero cards, zero life. Woo! <laughs> That's insane, dude. Wow. Wow, once in future, dude. Let me pop open Discord and see if I can find it. Hold on. I think Hunter just farted. I think it was probably pretty gross. <laughs> oh, man. That's quality content right there, guys. Hold on. Let me just add that image. Uh, add an image. Call it Wednesday. Browse for that dude. Desktop. Okay, I start the game with it is Wednesday, my dudes, on the board. I will play first. I will keep this hand and hope that we hit any land in the next two turns. <laughs> Frank wins and my real life draft fires. That's all I can ask for. That's literally all I could ask for. Oh man, and we did it. And we did it. Ain't no weasel back. That's Gwen Stefani. You guys know Gwen Stefani? She was the Weaselback girl. Oh man, we get to go Lovestruck Beast into Thunderous Snapper again. It's Wednesday, my dudes, but it's on a Thursday. It is Thursday, my dudes. It is Friday. How is it? Oh, I guess that makes sense. I was like, how's it Friday? But then I was like, oh yeah, time zones. Time zones are cool. Well, that was just rude what you did there. Yeah, definitely not blocking this nerd. I'll take one, thanks very much. It's Sunday here? Wow. Future's crazy, man. Time zones are, are whack. Well, this guy's really good against our Thunder Snapper. Epic Downfall's good against our Love Struck Beast. I think we found out why this guy is in the finals. In the finales. Get in there. Do me proud. Wish I had an artifact. We could have played Giant Opportunity to set ourselves up for Moonless Scavengers next turn, but I don't really care about bouncing their one drop or their draw a card, gentlemen. Well, that's pretty good. That card's got to go. Shut up and take okay. my money. Okay. What is the over under of Theros beyond death being a gender swapped god of war where Elspeth murders Helia? That would be sick. That would be fantastic. Um really wish I had an artifact here, I'll be honest with you guys. I don't really want to take a turn off though. I think I just want to play this and get get a card. 
Oh, Charmed Sleep is nice. Yeah, alright, we'll just pass here. Three three, huh? And then you can pump it to a big fat. So you can either trade with both of these. This doesn't become yeah, it does become a three three actually. I think this is fine. Sure. Yeah, we're definitely tapping you down for basically the rest of your life. Yep, that's fine. Weasel back, it'll burn your throat. Also, Adam, thank you so much for the support. Really appreciate it, buddy. You are a gentleman and a scholar. Also, a Adam, those questing beasts you opened at the pre-release, they're looking pretty spicy right now, my dude. Oh, jeez. I think we're going to wait a turn to play this so we can just maximize our card drawing. So snappy. All right, they have two cards in hand. That seems okay. Because we're going to draw three off of this. Uh, what do they got? Five, six, seven, eight. They can pump this four times, which is what? That's the 11 damage. I'd rather just trade with this, and then next turn we can trade off. Like, this has to be... Like, by trading this guy... um. We're saying that the random card on top is going to be better than this. And I think that's probably true on this board. Oh my god, they moved it over and killed their weasel back. Woo! <laughs> yes. That was nice. Oh, that was worse. Come on, island. That's not an island at all. Hmm. He fell straight off that weasel like a chump. Get back on your weasel, buddy. I don't know if I attack here. Like, how long do I let this guy abuse me? They have one card in this guy. I don't think we have an attack. Hmm. Hmm. Should we just draw five? <laughs> I like Pixie here, and I like Scarecrow here. Because Scarecrow lets us play Shine Chaser or Archon if we get enough mana for it. I'm just going to get in there.
I don't know if it's where your mic is in relation to your keyboard or what, but every time you type something out, or my subword perfect. That's actually hilarious. Um, I mean, my my mic is is here, and my keyboard's like not too far below it. But I don't. I didn't think it was a. Oh, we win the game. I didn't think it was a real bassy. Uh, I didn't think my keyboard was very bassy. But my keyboard is also. It's also the sweet new Logitech uh, RGB keyboard. It's like a wireless RGB keyboard. It's really sweet. Look at it. It's amazing. It's like really this. And then you guys are like, wow, that's so bassy. Count bassy. Um, all right, so didn't see many flyers. Sport Cap Spider actually seems decent in this matchup. Are we 3 0 this draft? <laughs> I want to be honest, I don't think our deck is. I think our deck is fine. I don't. Same. <laughs> I don't ignore you. I just don't know what you want me to do about it. Um, I don't. I, I don't know. This hand seems rough. I'm gonna mulligan this hand. This seems really good. I'll keep it. I'm gonna send this dude back, my dude. Uh, done. Turn one, curious pair. Turn two, Marrow Leaf Pixie. I got some treats to share, guys. Oh man, yeah, if you guys want to buy me a keyboard silencer and send it over, I'm I'm okay with it. We do want another blue. I don't know. White? I don't know. I think they're 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 considering whether they get rid of this Marrowleaf Pixie or not with their Reeve Soul. I think they just, they're like, nah, it's too good. It's not good enough. They're like, maybe it's good enough. Yep, okay. <laughs> That's it was a real emotional roller coaster there. I feel like this is actually just better because I want to get deeper into the deck here. I want to be able to hit lands. So. Could have played this guy and try to hit land next turn. Sure. Boy, I just don't care about that thing at all. Don't you know me, know me. I try to send you stuff, but never will give me your address. Scared I'll show up at your door asking to go to Disney World. I, I think you, I think you, you frightened me into thinking that. Yeah, Sammy, I love you, buddy. You are awesome. Okay, lots of one drops that I don't necessarily care about. A mere three four, which is fine. Oh, we have giant. <sighs> Ooh. All right, probably can't block this profitably. Probably can't block this profitably. Probably can't block this profitably. Thankfully, we have disposable curious pair here. Wow. I want my weasel back, weasel back, weasel back, weasel back. Chili's weasel back, rider. Is this Embercleave? Are you going to Embercleave me here? That doesn't seem great. Barge in, sure. Okay, I guess we'll take a lot. 
Ah, that wasn't really as much as I thought it was because this is only like three damage. And this was none. Okay. Hmm. I think we just go giant opportunity, sack the two food, and also wishful merfolk. Let's attack first. Yep, you got it. It's a weasel backer rider. I'm just going to play this guy now. I could play the land, but I don't really want to because I don't want this to be a 1-4. Because that seems worse. I have two cards in hand. I think if they had anything valuable, they would have played it last turn. Okay. Feels like we're in okay shape here, but anything could happen. Like a five damage spell to our turtle. Seems good. Well, well, <laughs> yep, that's a thing, all right. I guess take two. Oh, uh, it does not give trample, but I'm literally just talking about drawing seven cards here. Cast with adamant, sure. Oh lord. Draw cards equal one, two, three, four, five. Draw seven. <laughs> <laughs> oh lord. Goodness gracious. Don't care about this guy. Alright, I mean I do, but not as much as I should. What am I saying right now? I don't actually know. Um I think we're just getting in there with this. Seven is a great blocker. They can also go block with five two and like one one pump, which doesn't seem like a great trade for our seven seven. That they otherwise won't have a great Also, being able to once in future to get back both, like, this and, god, anything else is just insane, right? We have seven cards in our hand. They're going to play the steel leaf club or whatever that thing is yep steel claw lance <laughs> I was close you got it that's a 7-4 good buddy so aggressive
The problem is they can pump any of these guys to five ones. I really just want a flyer here, like this guy. I think we're actually going to try to once in future next turn surprise them with Return of the Wild Speaker. Uh, I don't really want the mana fixing actually because these guys being three threes instead of one ones, and like our guys, uh, our 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 side of the board gets actively worse. I right, uh, that was interesting. Hmm. Uh, I'm just gonna pass here. <laughs> oh man. Zach, all oh, what's going on? They're just really, they really just don't like these turtles, man. Unfortunately, two of these, three of these are humans. He hates these cans? What does that even mean? So what do we get back? We can get back Return of the Wild and like a snapper. It's from the jerk. Oh, wow. That deep, deep Steve Martin cut. Uh, Archon does not change any creature types, no. What are we going to do here? I think it's funny that someone came in the chat and one of their insults was, I don't have a family. Like, yes, I do. <laughs> what does that even mean? You fucking loser. <laughs> oh, man. Um, so, one, two, three, four. We play land. We get to go once in future... They can block three things, right? I think we just alpha here. Oh, this can't attack, though. One, two, three, four, five. Pretty much everything dies, though, right? I guess they could just block here. Yeah, we're just going to alpha here. This just seems fine. Because we also still have the worth with the wish, the wishful merfolk app to block. So five, six, seven, eight, nine. Once in future, get back our return of the wild. do Is this guy going to survive? Yes, he's going to be at 8-8, eight, eight, and this is going to be a 3-4. Wow. Unfortunately, all the humans are, are not are not getting blocked. They're blocking the, the non-humans. So it's almost not even worth playing this, because like we're just trading already. And they take 5, 6, 7, 8. Actually, what we could do is get back return, draw another 7 cards, and kill them on the spot with Sir Eleonora. That seems insane, right? Can we do that? Oh, 
our plan was to to overrun at instant speed, but we have since changed our plan. Okay, so we're gonna go one, two, three, four. Cast with adamant, get back, return, and probably just giant opportunity, I guess. No, it's gotta be snapper, right? Return and snapper. One, two, three, four. Done. So six, seven, eight, nine. Twelvia? Okay. Alright, so they have two mana, so they actually can't kill this because it costs two more. So even if they had, like, fling... I think they have fling and they're trying to fling this because they realize it costs two more. Oh, yes! <laughs> <laughs> that's gas, dude. Oh, that's good times. Wow, that deck was great. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. If you want to support someone who's old and fat and who plays children's card games and has no family, definitely slam those follow and subscribe buttons. I really appreciate the support. And uh, you can check them out at patreon.com slash franklapore. One or two dollars a month is a great way to support the channel. And um, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys.